Hi guys, PD here, welcome to the channel, welcome to another new video. As most of you know, yesterday I got a surprise parcel from Oculus, it was the Oculus Go. I've had it 24 hours now, I've done a lot of testing with it, I'm going to give you my first impressions, so enjoy the video. The gameplay and videos featured in the background are what I captured using the Oculus Go. There is no sound with these recordings at the moment because I didn't have the proper cables. I managed to get some cables today. So at the end of the video, there will be some footage featuring gameplay and sound. To set up the Oculus Go is very easy. The initial process requires you to download the Oculus Go app on your mobile phone. You switch on the Oculus Go. You sync the Oculus Go with the app on your mobile phone. You make a new Oculus account or you log into your existing Oculus account and that's it, job done. It took me 10 to 15 minutes, really simple and easy to do. I had no problems whatsoever. Now this impressions video is going to be based on the fact that I've had the Oculus Rift now for over a year and a half. I am also a big fan of VR and also a big fan of Oculus. VR is one of the best things I have done in gaming in over 35 years. So please take all this information into account as you watch this video. The device itself is very sturdy, it's well made, it's very light, it's about the same weight as the Oculus Rift, maybe a bit lighter. It's very easy to put on and very comfortable to use. It has no headphones, these are built into the device and the sound actually travels down the straps next to your ears. And the sound is surprisingly really clear. The headset does come with adjustable straps so you can tighten it to your liking. The one big difference I did notice next to the Oculus Rift is the Go does not have an IPD adjuster so there's no way to adjust the IPD. The IPD is the distance between the pupils of your eyes. Now on the Oculus Rift you've got a little setting that lets you centre it so it's perfect so your the middle of your vision is crystal clear. Myself, I have no problems, the Oculus Go is really crystal clear. My IPD falls within the range of the device so I have no issues at all. Once you've got the Oculus Go set up and you start to browse the Oculus Go store, there are hundreds and hundreds of games and applications a lot of these are free to try and they really do show off the ability of VR and how amazing it is. The battery life for me lasted about 3-4 to four hours. That was downloading applications, testing things, testing apps, testing games, showing games to the family. In that time I played about 3-4 different experiences. And when the battery is really low you do get warning in the Oculus Go headset to let you know that the battery is low. Charging the device up took me about 2-3 to three hours, you can do that while having dinner, watching TV or even while you're in bed asleep. Now like I said the Oculus Go has got a built in recording device, so transferring files from the Oculus Go to your PC was really easy thanks to Mike from Virtuality Oasis, he's got a really nifty guide that shows you how to do it all. I followed his guide and it worked perfect. As you can see in the background this is footage I recorded last night. Sound is coming later, I got the cables for sound today. So a big thank you to Mike for the for the guide. Also last night I managed to watch a 3D movie in a virtual cinema and it was amazing. I watched Avatar in 3D. And this is all thanks to another VR YouTuber called Facepalm. I'll leave links to both Mike and Facepalm's channels in the description below. Now thanks to Facepalm I managed to get a 3D movie working and it was amazing. Just laying back watching a movie in 3D, it was like being in the cinema with my 3D glasses on, it was superb. Having been a Rift user for over a year and a half, I can tell you that the resolution and the quality of the Oculus Go is amazing. I really noticed a massive difference when I was reading menus. The text is crystal clear. The sharpness and the clarity of the Go is ideal for watching movies in VR. The Oculus Go comes with some free built-in movie apps and these feel like you're in a real cinema watching films. 360 videos seem a lot sharper as well. I watched the Jurassic World experience blue again in the Oculus Go and it was a lot clearer and a lot sharper than the Oculus Rift version and that's thanks to the new Oculus Go lenses. I tested about 4-5 to five games. These are the same games I've already played on the Oculus Rift so I wanted to compare them with the Oculus Go now I did notice a massive difference in the quality of like the textures and everything. Obviously with a high-end PC you've got the option to have high-end graphics. So with the Oculus Go you are limited to 
you are limited to a certain graphic fidelity, but the experience was more or less the same. For example, one of my go-to games in the Oculus Rift is a game called Rush. Do you remember the snowboarding game SSX Tricky on the PlayStation? It's very similar, but you're in a wingsuit, so you're jumping down mountains, flying through hoops. It's a really exhilarating experience. Now on the go, you still got that amazing feeling that you're flying. However, on the go, I did notice the graphic fidelity was not as high as Oculus Rift. Well, the experience was the same, it was really awesome, and it was on par. If I was to demo my Oculus Rift to somebody in the public, say a friend at school, I will take them my Oculus Go and show them the same game on Oculus Go, and that will give them a really good impression of what to expect. Again, the sound quality is really, really good to say there's no headphones. I'm impressed with the sound quality. Now, one of the biggest surprises for me was freedom. Yes, freedom. I've had the Oculus Rift over a year and a half now, and you're constantly aware of that cable at the back of your head. So the first time you put on the go, and you're in an experience, and you start to turn around, your instincts are, oh, where's the cable? It's a really strange experience because your brain thinks there's a cable there, and there's no cable. I've got a swivel chair, and this is perfect for the go. So now when I put the Oculus Go on, I can sit in my swivel chair, Put on a 360 experience and I can just swivel around. It's a defining moment in VR for me. So if you're listening to EPCast, wink wink, nudge nudge. Now unlike the Oculus Rift, the Oculus Go is a 3 off headset. That means you've only got three directions of freedom of movement. Now the Oculus Rift is a 6 off VR headset. That means you can move into the experience, move out of the experience, and you can even walk around inside the experience. With the Oculus Go, you can tilt your head left and right, move up and down, turn left and right, and that's about it. And I was expecting it to be really noticeable when I put the Oculus Go on. And to be honest, it was not. I was pleasantly surprised. The Oculus Go comes with a little controller. Again, this is only a 3 off movement. You can only move it up and down, left, right, and tilt it, for example. And once you're in a game, say like a shooting game, it does feel like you're holding a gun and it's quite responsive, tracking is spot on, it's really perfect and I can't fault it to be honest. So my overall impressions are, if you've been looking into getting VR, I know the Oculus Rift can be expensive with a top end PC and the touch controllers and the whole caboodle and you're on a tight budget, the Oculus Go will give you an experience more or less the same as what you'll get from an Oculus Rift. This is an amazing piece of tech. I'm still trying to figure out how this all works. I'm still trying to figure out the processing power. There must be some sort of graphics chip in here because some of these games I played on the Oculus Rift a year ago, I can play them on the go with a standalone headset. It does not connect to a PC. Yesterday I sat in the living room, we were watching TV, and in the breaks I was in VR, in the Oculus Go, and it was amazing. Okay, I hope this has been a helpful guide to those of you looking into getting into VR or if you've already got VR and you're looking into getting the Oculus Go Would I recommend it? Yes, I would recommend it. I was going to buy one anyway. The fact that Oculus sent me one was a bonus and I cannot thank Oculus enough. This was a bonus guys. I was already saving up for an Oculus Go. I was going to get one no matter what. I can't wait for the next generation of VR headsets. I'm excited. You should be excited. Before I go, today I managed to get some cables, I've got the sound working, I've got the audio working, I've yet to figure out a way to talk whilst recording gameplay, so what I might have to do is record the gameplay and the sound and then dub my impressions over the top of my original recordings. Once again thank you for watching, enjoy the rest of the video, hopefully I'll have my first Go Impressions video tomorrow, so watch this space. And I'll see you next time. Bye! When you're ready, select the helmet sitting on your desk and start the first test. Welcome to your inaugural flight, pilot. To pass this first test, all you have to do is keep the ultralight airborne. Keep an eye on your aircraft tablet. It'll provide useful information about aircraft and jobs. 
Let's get you airborne. Just push on the track pad to increase throttle. Now, gently tilt your controller back. Once you've gained enough speed, you'll be airborne. Thank you.